vacuum frame. Who's to blame? So they say, well, who's to blame? Who are they going to blame? What do you think? Of course, the lantern swinger. So they call him to the stand. You know, what's your name? Mr. Lantern Swinger, son of Mr. Lantern Swinger. This is after six months, hung jury. They can't work it out. They're not sure. There's no evidence on either side. They finally call him to the stand and they say, sir, you just got to tell us. You know, were you there that morning? Yeah, I was there. Were you drunk? No, I wasn't drunk. Did you have your lantern? I did. Did you see the train coming towards you? Yes, I did. Well, please tell us. And the place gets completely quiet. And you can kind of hear a hush. Did you? Or didn't you swing the lantern? And his attorney's been defending him for six months and he's convinced that he is innocent. But, but a sweat kind of breaks out on his face and, and he's, he's not sure, he's not sure. And, and he says, um, he, yes, I swung the, 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 the lantern. What can they do? They acquit him. And his attorney is furious. And as everyone files out of the courtroom, his attorney grabs him and throws him against the wall. And he says, I thought I was defending an innocent man. And you get up there and you talk with the stammer of a guilty man. Right? Shame on you. And a little tear goes down his, his cheek, the lantern swinger. And he says, no, no, you don't understand. And I'm sorry. You just asked me the wrong question. <laughs> you asked me, did I swing the lantern? But you forgot to ask, was the lantern lit? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Right? We know how to swing the lantern. We are so competent and functional. We are accountants and gardeners and maintenance engineers and we are engineering our lives and we are swinging the lantern, but we just kind of forgot that little question. Is it lit? Is there a fire? Right? Is there a fire? Is the fire of God in the lantern? Do I have a vision, a destiny, a destination? Where am I going? Why am I alive? Right? That's the question we want to talk about right here this morning. Why am I alive? Right? Is, is, is that fire happening? And what is that fire inviting me to? Okay? So I want to learn a little Bible with you. It's a good book. It's a good book. Is it a good book? It's a good book, the good book. And I want to open with you, and of course I gave the wrong Bible readings, which were read so beautifully, right? So it's a shame I couldn't get the right ones when I send the email, but we're going to work with that, okay? So I want to read a text with you. And God created the world, and God saw after the first day that it was? Good. Let's get a little excitement going here, okay. Oh my God. And God saw that it was? Good. Oh my God, and the second day, and God saw that it was? And the third day, God saw that it was. Yeah. And the fourth day, God saw that it was. Yeah. And the fifth day, God saw that it was. Yeah. And the sixth day, God says, for the first time in the entire biblical frame, it is not good. The only place ever written in the Bible, right? As I'm sure you know, ma'am, right? A teacher of the Holy Text for one or two years, okay? Right? I, I got that. I got that. I'm with you there, okay? Right? It is not good. It is not good. What's the end of the verse? It is not good for man to be alone or translated better lotov heyota dam levado in the hebrew it's not good for the human being to be lonely 